Hey, welcome back to Cool Kids Art and let's draw the awesome looking over ticker skin in Fortnite. So let's get started with a quick sketch and then I will show you line by line on how you can draw this. Alright, so let's draw this and to begin we're going to start out with the visor area first. So we're just going to draw from the center here, I'm just going to draw two lines. Okay, slanting upwards. And then on the side here, just kind of come in slightly. So it's almost like a letter M. Just kind of tilt it in. And then once you have that, we're going to draw a nice curve going all the way around. And this is going to be the tricky part. Especially when you want to keep things symmetrical. All right, so that's the visor area. And then right in the middle here, just gonna draw a little triangle and then now we got drawing the rest of the helmet so here I'm gonna draw the same line just going all the way around the bottom part it's just gonna meet up on the triangle okay and then once you have this we're gonna draw the top so I'm gonna start from here on the corner again this is a little bit tricky again because it's a uh, it's supposed to be a nice symmetrical curve all right so that's the top of the head and then once you have that we're just gonna draw the bottom so this part we're gonna start up here and we're gonna come down so it's gonna be really tight right there so we have room like on this side I don't have a lot of room so I'm just gonna you won't see much spacing there and then once I have that I'm just gonna come in to the middle and this one's a little bit curvier Alright, so lots of little tricky curves. And then once you have that, uh, there's a little bit of detail right here. So I'm just going to draw one curve going this way. And one curve going this way, I'm just going to fill this. Okay, so that's pretty much for the head. And let's move on to the scarf area. So the, right here in the middle, you can just draw in two curves like this. And then aside the here, I'm going to come down. This is still um, part of a scarf. And then we're going to go in to the middle. And then to make it look like cloth, we're just going to extend it this way. I'll draw a line here, one here, maybe even down here. Okay, and then once we have this, uh, let's draw in. It's got a really cool collar. so. From this point here, we're just going to extend it upward at a slant. And then we'll curve it all the way back into the helmet. And let's add in a little bit of detail in the collar here. So this part's easy. We're just going to follow that line. Okay, so let's see. Let's move on to the body now. So from the right around here on the shoulder, I'm just going to go out. And then let's pinch it all the way back in down to its waist. So slant it inwards and close it off. And then it's got the double belt again. So we're going to go down one section. And then another one, just slightly smaller. And then the buckle is going to be the same thing. So here's the buckle and then here's some details. Two loops right here on the side, bottom belt, here's the buckle and then this detail is going across and then again one more loop on each side. Alright so now let's fill in some details on the body so from this uh, line here I'm just going to keep going because he's got a belt all the way across his shoulder and then I'm going to go back up. Okay, and he's got some spikes in here. So right here, I'm gonna draw one spike on the top here. And then for this one, at a slight angle, so draw a little curve and then add a little angle like that. And on this, this one here, it's just gonna be a circle, a small one. Okay, so it's kind of like going away from you. Just trying to add some uh, perspective to that. 
And then let's see, finally, it's got some belts on the side here. So I'm just gonna draw in two lines coming down. And just a little bit of detail right here. So I'm just gonna draw two lines. And then it's got a zipper coming down here in the middle. So I'm just gonna draw, I'll make this a little bit thicker for the zipper. And then right next to it, it's gonna be another line. And it's got another zipper here. So it's got a really cool looking suit. So one line here and then just draw a kind of bracket around it. Okay, so that's his suit and let's move on to his arm. So here's his armpit. So for this one, uh, it's got some shoulder pads here. So we're gonna come down and then we just kind of hook it up. And then from the armpit, we're just gonna connect that. Okay, and then for his bicep, we're gonna come down here bracket and then we're gonna start back up here okay not down here so bracket here's the elbow slant out for his lower arm and then we're gonna come in go all the way down here right around here connect that and then add a little bit of detail here for this glove and then we're just gonna give him a fist so Slant down and then turn back up. Back of the fist. Curve in. And let's see, okay, let's add in some detail here. So he's got the little pad here and then another spike. And he's got some more detail here, but let's move on to the other arm first. All right, so the other arm is gonna be pretty much the same. So here's the armpit. Curve down. Go back up and then just connect that with a line and then same thing here bracket start up here lower arm and go out okay all the way down close it off and then get one section and he's got okay let's draw in the his fist first Here's the back of the fist. And then same thing here, got a little spike. Okay, and then now let's add in some detail. So right here, he's got wrap here. One little rectangle here, and it's got one stripe going around his arm here. And let's go back to this one because I want to join this uh, this little detail in the arm, which is pretty cool. So it's got some padding here. So I'm just gonna from this corner here, just come down. Okay, so just kind of follow that line, go all the way down, and then we're gonna draw in some lines across. Okay, and then lastly some detail here. He's got one line coming through. And then so on this side, you're going to put on this, but you can't see most of it. So we're just going to start right around here and just come down. Now just add in a line there. Okay, so let's move on to his legs. So his legs are pretty much the same as the other character. So come down the middle. And you know, let's, let's draw, let's draw. make it a little bit more interesting, right? Draw a little slant instead. And then we go from the side, come down. Close it off. Okay, and then same thing on the other side. Slant down. Extend the line a little bit more. Close that off. And then the lower leg, so here's the knee pad, just flare it out, come across, pinch it back in all the way down to his ankle, and then from here he's got some armor, so we're going to draw one rectangle, and then here's his shoes, dome shape, coming out more on this side. Close that off and then some detail inside here. So just two rectangles. 
and then right here on the side slant and then down so slant and down so this part wraps around the, the angle there okay so let's draw on the other side flare out close it off and we're gonna pinch it in it's gonna be the same thing as the other side rectangle and then here's the dome shape come down and then come out more on the outside here close it off extend it slant out and same detail up here okay and then right here slant down slant down and let's see this add in it's got two straps right here and then for the armor, I draw two lines, gonna go all the way down behind the straps. So same thing here, two lines, and then go all the way down. All right, and then we gotta finish off some details up here. It's got two straps here, so one and two. And it's got a little pouch here, like most of the characters. And then angle out, oh, so that's a little flap. And then it's got another pouch on the side. I come out, come down, straight down, and then just come across. And then same thing here, a little flap, just angle, and go out. And he's got a little detail. I'm just gonna draw in two lines here. And if you want, you can draw in his uh, his pocket. So kind of slant in like this and then come down. And that is it for this very cool looking overtaker skin in Fortnite. So hope you guys like the way it turned out. And if you do, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you next time.